hello there. Hello, young ones. This is Mrs. Foley, and Mrs. Corper is hiding in the background. Maybe you should wave. There's her hand. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of painting today. Uh, each of you are going to get a fantastic tiny canvas. This is my canvas. It is a little larger than your canvas. And you're going to be using your desk and some paints to create this lovely little piece. Here we are. Can you see that? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's sort good of there. Good, good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to be helping you. You will need for this gray paint and white paint. So, we're mixing colors black and white make gray. Your choice of uh, Christmas decoration colors. So, I have purple, blue, and red. I have some water. I have some paper towel. And I have three sizes of paintbrush. You can see really big, medium, and small. Um, you might get to use this if we have enough supplies, otherwise you'll probably get one this size, and it will work for all of the things. So, the first thing I'm going to do over here is just give myself enough of each color. You can maybe see this. There we go. So we've got some purple, a little bit of red, oh, red and a little bit of blue, and this is going to become my gray, and that will be staying white, hopefully. I hope yours also stays white. Now, I'm going to mix up and hopefully have a beautiful gray. By the way, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just kidding. We'll figure it out. Here we go. Mixing, mixing the paint. It will be a happy accident of gray. Oh yeah, this is looking wonderful. Just mixing my black. Yeah. I feel like it could be a little bit darker. So, I'm just going to add the tiniest drop of black. Side note, we are using acrylic paint, which stains. So, don't get it on your clothes. That's why I'm wearing Mrs. Corver's lovely paint jacket. Look at this thing. I do not own a paint jacket, because I just paint on a whim. All right, this is probably pretty good. Now, there are lots of different canvas painting techniques. I will not be teaching them to you. We're simply going to paint and see how many happy accidents we can have. Just kidding, there will be no accidents. All of the things are meant to be done on purpose. So I now have a beautiful gray. I'm gonna show you what it should look like. Once I finish mixing, I think I finished mixing. Here it is, can you see that? There it is, we're good. Up higher? Yeah, perfect. There you go. Nice. All right, thanks Mrs. Corver, and now, I'm simply going to take my gray and cover this thing. And I'm not going to get it on my phone, because that would be really bad. So, I'm going to paint it. It's beautiful. Lovely, nice gray. Yep, fabulous. Here we are. Oh, I really like having an eagle. Wonderful. This is my third ever canvas painting. Wow. Right? Professional. Oh yeah. Pretty much a pro. It's pretty fun to just get some paint and see what you can come up with. Pinterest is a great place to go for ideas. That is where this one came from. But we're gonna adapt it a tiny bit. Do do do. So just keep on painting, covering it with gray. For now, you're just gonna do the front. A little later, we'll add some paint to the sides. So then, it doesn't have funny white spots. See, let me just show you. So later on, it's okay, no accidents. We'll paint this once we're done. See, so it should look something like this. So how about your teacher pauses this video as soon as I'm finished with this and you turn your canvases into this beautiful gray thing. All right, good, so you've painted it gray. Woo, congrats. You are succeeding in all of your painting endeavors. All right, by the way, can I just wipe my fingers on your painting easel, is that okay? Oh, thank you, lovely. Oh, and there is someone entering this room. It's very exciting. This is Corver's going to save the day. All right. My next task is to clean off my brush. Just give it a little dab. 
keep on dabbing. Yeah, yeah, don't start doing dance moves in your desk. I see you. All right, so then I'm just gonna dry it all. Oh, there's one more. I'm not gonna use this paintbrush for my tree. I'm going to use a different paintbrush. So, I am now going to select my medium-sized paintbrush. Or for you, it's probably just the same one, but it needs to be clean, because you're going to use white. This is clean, we just used it on green last time. Good. So, I'm going to start at the top of my tree, and I want it to look like this. I just want to see if you can actually see this. Well, there it is. Yep. So I'm going to start at the top and add little brush strokes going down. Now, I don't want to be stopping anywhere halfway, right? You kind of want to leave space because you're going to add some letters. It's going to go a little ways and keep going until we get to the bottom. And I want to use nice strokes so it actually looks like it has some texture and maybe it's even real, right? Okay, here we go. when you paint on the gray, that you don't get more gray in your white. Well, that was a little too good. Oh well, it's okay, it's a tree. Trees are not perfect. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow, I even have moving camera. All right. Oh, this is hard, guys. This is really hard. I'm a little stressed. It's okay. We'll be fine. It's gonna need a couple of layers, I think. We'll do one and then another. doesn't look terrible. Yes, see there's the fine paint. Pink. Staying white, good. There. Okay, that was a nice one. A little more. I'm sure some of you are going to do an absolutely much better job of this than me. Because you paint all the time. Like Rena Kim. Well, sort of. Hang on, let me just consult. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go and do the bottom now so then I can see. So maybe you wanna do like halfway too. And then I wanna make that look like the end of a tree. Not very good right now. I'll fix it up. Don't worry guys, I got this. So I'm going down a little bit and across. Kinda of like a swoopy tree. Be confident in your brush strokes. <laughs> Don't worry, you can do this. Ah, oh, there we go. It's looking sort of tree-ish. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And as you go up, you want to get smaller. There we go. What do you think? Tree-ish? Yeah, it so looks great. Now I'm going to add some more, but not too much. Maybe a little bit more going down so it doesn't look like it's all going the same way. Yes. Don't worry. If it doesn't work out the first time, just add some more paint. It's a good philosophy. Right? It'll turn into something useful, I think. My Christmas tree, which is plucked from the wild, does not look like a perfect tree. But that's what I love about it. And also you might want to like brush the edge like this so it doesn't have gray bits. Maybe do that after you've added your branches. Oh yeah, that's looking better. Good. Okay. So you're gonna want to put some thicker globs of white. I hope you are all painting very well and enjoying this. Thank you, Mrs. Corver. Oh, my pleasure. That's so helpful. Such a happy looking tree. It's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. The happiest of all the trees. Right. Wow. Oh, it's so cute. All right. Okay. Maybe a little more down there. I think we're almost.
almost done. So students, you don't want a whole bunch of gray showing because your tree is supposed to be white. So you know. Also, you're welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel <laughs> for my two videos that I have posted. <laughs> right? I am so talented. fun. Mm -hmm. It's a good way to spend after school. Much more exciting than marking. Oh my. There. What do we think? Maybe another layer of white? I would think so. Yeah, maybe one more layer. One more layer? All right. I'm glad I have a critic. They're very helpful. Oh, good. Oh yeah. Very critical. Well, that looks great. Thank you. I'm just going to do a little more at the top. Okay. And I might also just do the side of my canvas while I'm here before I start adding. So over here, maybe you would like to show them this. I'm going to paint the top and the sides so that it matches. Oh, so you don't just do right. the whole side gray, but that mm -hmm. side is white. I'm going to do this white so it matches my tree. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't know if it looks better gray. If you really want to experiment, you could, but I think it might look funny because it would look like the tree was ending. Mm -hmm. This is my thinking. And I'll probably want to fix up the branches after this because there's going to be a funny line on the front. Oh, yeah, good point. Right? Oopsies. It's okay. Happy accident, happy accident. No problem. Okay, now I need to do this. I need to do this. Okay. Please. All right. So maybe Mrs. Corver can just zoom in on this. And when she does that, teachers can pause so students can look and copy. Sound good? Thank you. I shall back away. Okay, welcome back. We are now going to add a word. Now you can choose the word that you want to put. So it's going to go in this little section and it's going to be vertical. So I'll just show you the picture one more time so you can see. So this one says joy. I am going to do hope. That is going to be my word. So you can choose one of the four Advent words that we, so it's peace, joy, love. What's the other one? Peace, joy, love, and hope. And hope. There we go. We got it. Together we have one functioning brain that you may write vertical. Okay, and you're gonna do it in white paint. Oh boy. Guys, I've never spelled a word in paint before, so we'll see how this goes. I'll let you know if I come up with any tips. All right, first thing, I probably wanna get an idea of how long I want it to be. Okay, I've got my idea. Now I'm just gonna go for it. And I'm gonna do it in all capitals. We can do this. Don't go too big or you'll run out of space. Oh, I probably should have used a smaller paintbrush. That's okay. It's nice and bold. Yeah, bold. Bold font. Mm -hmm. Then no one will get confused about what I was trying to spell. Exactly. Right? You'll be able to see nice and clear. getting a little busy. Maybe I'll just, or like painty. Mm -hmm. Don't really know how I'm gonna do this. You're gonna need to take your time. Don't rush this. So I just pulled it to the side. Take a deep breath. Down. Stay. Good. 
steady your hands. It's kind of like when you take a picture and you need to be really mm, relaxed. Often you breathe out and it calms you. So I'm breathing out. Oh yeah, that's good now. Okay, now I'm gonna do an O. Oh, seasoned professional folks. Right? Look at that guy. We're doing so well. Okay, I'm going to go over it again. Ready? This is hard work. Okay. There's no. Now I'm going to do my P. Oh, it's kind of going crooked, but that's okay. It's supposed to be. We'll just do it on an angle, like the tree. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then right there. It's going to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's okay. The word is on. The word hope. Oh, look at that. It's even our uh, theme of the year. Mm -hmm. What a fantastic little painting. This is hard, guys. Writing letters is no easy thing, but I believe in you. go. So I have my word. Uh, encouragement. Line up your letters before you start painting. Life tip from me. Okay. Uh, maybe, Mrs. Corver, you could zoom in and we'll just sit it there for a little while so you guys can try this yourself. Line up your letters. clean off my white paintbrush because I don't think I'm going to need it anymore. Yeah, we'll go with no. So I'll just, you know, do a little dab in here. I can see you all dancing in your seats right now. Dabbing. Okay, dry it off. Okay, now I'm going to take my tiny brush and I'm going to use my colors. So, don't go to sleep. I need you now more than ever. Uh, I'm kind of going to go in like a little pattern. So I'm going to start with purple, then I'm going to do blue, then I'm going to do red. So here we go. My little brush. I'm just going to do nice little dots. Well, maybe I'll do all the purples first, actually. Yep, we'll do purples. Okay, so purple at the top, right here. Good. One purple. And I want another purple. So I'm going to do two there. I'm going to do one here. I think I'm going to add some other colors now. I'll just clean off my brush. Make sure you do your dabbing. Kind of drying, sort of. And now I'm going to add a little bit of red. Okay, so I'm going to do a red one here. I'll just make this a bigger red ball. So. 
Now, be careful you don't use too much paint that it starts dribbling down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to add some blue, and we'll do more purple. I think my brush might get a little wet still. I'm just going to dry it off. I think it's better to use a dry brush. Now I'm going to go back and do some more purple to the bottom, and then some red, some blue, and we are done. Thank you, Mrs. Corver, for all of your wonderful help. Oh, this is the best. By the way, students, I used way too much paint. So when you are getting paint, do not use as much as I did. Yep, and it definitely works better when you have a drier brush. I think I'm done with purple. Now I will add more red and blue. And we'll see how this looks. Looks great. They're so patient and encouraging. If only my pee was in line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
good one. Oh, too bad. It's yeah. okay. It's all good. The nice thing about art is it doesn't have to be perfect. Otherwise, it'd be too hard. Yeah, it's just fun trying to do things like mm -hmm. this. I think that's done. Mm -hmm. Lovely, except for the gray around the edge. Okay, students. So let's get Mrs. Corver to zoom in so your teacher can pause it, and then you can add your own little Christmas dots or ornaments. All right, students, great work. We are now going to paint gray around the edges of this. Okay, so very carefully, I'm gonna go to the top, very carefully. I've got big globs, maybe I should have less big globs. Very carefully, I'm gonna do this, just so carefully. So I don't want to be painting on the front of it so much because then it will wreck my pattern and I can't paint over top of my words. Kiri, you're going to have to do this because you have very skinny sides on yours. You might not. Okay. There we go. Now it looks different because this is wet paint and the paint on the front is drying. So do not be alarmed if it's a different color. And you're going to need to do the underside, but I can't reach that right now. So I'll do it once it's dry. Thank you for painting on a canvas with me. I hope you enjoyed and learned something exciting. Goodbye!